people to travel. Prof, earlier on you said you talked about proper, properly educated. Correct. Mm. Do you think the education system as it is in Africa generally, is, is it failing young people? There is a problem with our education system across the board. I have uh, traveled and I'm familiar with the education systems of many African countries. And what has happened over the years is that we have acquired obsession with degrees. But we don't ask ourselves what is the content of the degrees that we are issuing. If, if you permit me, yes. many yes. African countries say that agriculture is the backbone of our economy. But what a weak backbone it is in many African countries. If you go to the universities, what kind of things are they teaching their graduates of agriculture? If you look at a country such as China, for example, in the area of aquaculture, they are producing over a third of their fish from fish ponds. Are we doing that? If you look at a number of African countries, they are still importing poultry from countries such as Brazil. And I'm submitting to us that in every sector, whether it is in agriculture, whether it is in engineering, we must look at the content of what we are doing so that we are able to produce young men and women who are innovators and inventors and we become manufacturers and value addition if I, becomes if, if I may, our forte. If I may, you are saying in, in yeah. other words, the way our education is must talk to our economic needs, must talk to what we say about our country. Let's use the example of agriculture. Yes. If, if at all agriculture is the backbone, then the education system must talk to this backbone. You put it so well. That, that mm -hmm. is what I'm saying. Because look at the education system that we inherited from the erstwhile colonizers. It was meant to produce Africans who would work as civil servants. And there is a large sense in which we have carried on that kind of education system without much interrogation. Mm -hmm. Going forward, we must ask ourselves at the University of Botswana, how many patents have you acquired in any given year in terms of creation, if it is food science technology? I was uh, in an aircraft, which is an African airline. The butter is from uh, Denmark. The, how I wish that the butter... African airline, African in, in, airline Africa. in Africa. In Africa. How I wish that the butter was from Botswana, that the beef was from Botswana, that the coffee was from Kenya, the cocoa was from Ghana or Cote d'Ivoire. Because when we talk about these things, it means that every sachet of sugar that I'm consuming, if it is produced in Zambia, it creates employment. And you ask the question which must be answered. Yes, yes. Do the young men and women in Botswana know about the opportunities in Rwanda?